Welcome to France and one of the many forests here. In fact, every forest is different depending on its climate, but every natural environment has a richness. The animal we'll meet today is very discreet. He is secretive, so he lives in a dense, thick forest. It's a forest with low-lying plants that give him good cover and let him have a nice burrow. And who is he? The genet. What? You don't know genets? Well, it is true, he's very secretive. He, uh, he never leaves the forest and he comes out only at night. Still, he, even if he is timid, he is a fantastic hunter. As if on a warpath, our genet is as quiet as a cat in slippers. Up to the Middle Ages, he was used to rid attics of mice. And then people started using cats, and little by little, genets reverted to the wild state. Well, that's fine with the genet. <laughs> Don't worry. Aha, that is the genet's biggest rival, the tawny owl. They are night hunters in the same territory and are also partial to small rodents. As soon as the prey stops moving, the genet moves off to his burrow as silently as he came. Uh, I know somebody who's pretty jealous. Genets usually shelter in a very quiet spot, a dead tree or, or in a badger hole. It has to be protective and big enough for a litter of offspring. Naturally, there are baby genets, usually two or three at a time, and uh, they're a lot of work. The young ones are pretty well behaved when mom's not there, but as soon as she gets back, <laughs> the little ones are itching with curiosity. I guess nothing is more curious to find out all about everything, and right now, they poke their noses in every place. The genet is good at teaching the young to hunt, but as for good manners, mm, not doing too well. The owl won't let the kids act like that. After a while, the little ones venture out into the uh, immediate area. But for now, they have to stay there, stamping their feet with impatience. They're still nursing on their mother's milk, but you can tell they're eager to become great hunters. With no choice, the smart ones nibble on mom's lunch, while the others drool with envy. The owl won't let her kids act like that. For the Janet family, the meal is over. It's curfew. Everybody in bed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody in bed. Let's remember that the Janet's life is reversed. It's almost daybreak, and even if the forest is dark, the Janet is much too cautious to go out into it during the day. No, the Janet lives by night. Watch me make a splash in my bed.